Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. I hope you've all had a beautiful rest over the holidays. I myself tried to take a little more time just to do nothing and end the year very quietly and slowly so that I could feel more energized to come into 2024. And I really do, mainly because I have this strong desire right now to draw mermaids and paint mermaids all year. I think that's mainly because last year I did a lot of fairies, mainly just fairies, in preparation for my calendar, which I finished off. We're in summer here right now and I've been swimming and snorkeling and I'd just really like to add a lot more mermaids to my portfolio. So I'm at least wanting to start the year with a lot of mermaids and bring you along with me, of course. Now I thought I'd make this video a little more like just come along with me a vlog style while I get ready to draw mermaids. And I thought I'd make a few more videos like this. Not so this is the painting I'm doing or we're doing this project today, but more just my life behind the scenes and the art stuff I get up to along the way. This is my mood board or my dream board or my vision board for 2024. Got a lot of mermaid stuff, homemaking and maybe some theatre stuff. Also sketching. I don't think I did enough sketching last year. It does keep the desire to draw and, and ideas and create new things alive a bit more when I sketch. The first thing that I want to do before I get into drawing my mermaids is make this little area here that I paint a little more oceany to get me kind of inspired. So that's what we're gonna do right now is get some fabric and seashells and treasure chest stuff and just kind of surround my painting corner with feelings of the waves and mermaid lullabies and all that mermaidy stuff. This old formal dress that I think someone was getting rid of at one point or another. I could cut this up or just drape it and use the fabric because it's very sheer seafoam kind of colour. I have a lot of these seashell dangly things that I never finished hanging around so I could finish them and then just hang them up wherever I can. I haven't finished with my little corner yet, but I thought I would just do some fun mermaid sketches to get myself back into drawing because I did take a bit of a big break over Christmas to do the calendars and pack orders and then just relax with family. So I was at a shop the other day where they were closing down and selling everything very cheap. Beautiful brushes. These are my most used sort of brushes. They're the rounded pointed tip. And look at this one. Well, there's my hand next to it, but it's huge. I could do really big washes with this. And they're very pretty. The silver colour reminds me of the Barbie Rapunzel paintbrushes. shells on this and you can hear the sound now. Isn't it so pretty? You 
can see I really haven't done that much but I've got some shells there and I put this gold mirror which I like and this beautiful fabric that I found in a thrift store. I know it's red and kind of royal but for me it reminds me of mermaid stuff like pirate ships and some sort of hidden mermaid treasure cove so I understand this might not come across very oceany but I'm just using what I've got and I should finish it now so that I can get on with my life. I just found a recipe online of how to make my own lip balm from mint or lemon balm or lavender, probably a bunch of other things too. So I've got this lemon balm that has just shooted again and is growing very big and I've been trying to think of something to do with it so this will be perfect. Look, it's a butterfly. Here is the lemon balm. So I have a vegetable garden and I grow flowers sometimes but I've recently gotten into herbal remedies and cosmetics or whatever I can make from plants instead of buying them from the store where they're full of chemicals. So far I've made my own rosemary water for my hair, I've made deodorant, moisturizer and dandelion salve and today we're making lip balm. This is what the leaves of the lemon balm look like. I pruned bush and here's all my lemon balm. Not a whole lot of lemon balm, but <laughs> once you take the leaves off. Now I gotta blend this up with oil and then I think strain it and put it on a double boiler for a couple hours. Here it is, finished now. I love the greeny yellowy kind of color of it. It took a long time though compared to some of the other things I've made. Yeah, I like the texture. The smell is very planty actually. It doesn't actually smell a whole lot like lemon balm though. But I do like it. The lip balms that I do buy are also natural, but the fact that I can make this myself is pretty cool because I do use lip balm a lot. Much better to have something with all edible ingredients. Well, my little oceany art corner feels a lot more mermaid trinkety now. Something I don't think that artists talk about a lot is inspiration. It often can look online like we just go right in and start painting, but personally for me, it can take a long time in between projects of just having thoughts and feelings and ideas just in the back of my mind, trying them that don't work, and only when it gets to a point that I'm kind of ready to paint do I usually turn the camera on. But in these last few weeks, I've just been feeling mermaid -y and watching movies and going to the ocean and not really pressuring myself to draw something amazing. And I've really enjoyed that time and I feel like I'm not really rushing it, so now I think I'm ready to start sketching and brainstorming ideas, of which I do have a lot and I'm gonna try and film as much as I can. Tonight I'm very excited because I'm watching Avatar The Way of Water. I saw this movie when it came out a year ago and I've been wanting to watch it ever since but I've been waiting for the DVD and my brother bought it for me for Christmas. It definitely made me feel things and want to paint things, not necessarily from the movie, but just appreciation for the ocean and the sparkly sea creatures and coral and the light coming through the water. The sound it makes on seashells. 